All right, this is coming from chapter three in your book, question number 76. And the question in your book and on uh, WebAssign is stated like this. A family decides to have children until it has three children of the exact same gender. And we're going under the assumption that the probability of having a boy is the same as the probability of having a girl, which are both 50%. So here's our here's our problem is that we're going to have a uh, family's going to have kids until it has three children of the same gender. So in WebAssign they they're asking you some pretty simple questions towards the very beginning. You know, for example, if you had zero kids, what's the probability that you'll have three kids of the same gender? Well, zero chance. If you only had one child, the probability of having three children that are of the same gender is still zero. Same thing for two, it's still zero. Now where three kids come involved, right? When you, when, once a family has a third child, that's where things get a little bit more interesting. So I put this on a separate piece of paper. Let me slide this in here. Here are all the possible ways, right? Here are all the possible ways of having three children. And I did it like this. Hopefully this makes sense to you. Um, one way is to have three boys. Another way is to have your oldest be a boy, your middle child be a boy, and the youngest be a girl. And that's what these all mean. So you can have a boy, girl, boy, boy, girl, girl. And then I hope you see I kind of did this on purpose because all of this first line starts with a B. So now notice the entire second line just starts with a G. Uh, so I, all I did was replace the, each of the first Bs with Gs if we had a girl first, and then reiterated the same thing. So it's easy to see that we have a total of eight children. We have a total of eight children. Now, how many of these have exactly three kids with the same gender? Well, there's only two cases. It's the first one, all three are boys. And it's the last one, all three are girls. So I hope it's easy to see that we have two out of eight or one fourth. Okay. So I'm going to replace this here in my first sheet with if we have three children, the probability that uh, three of those children are exactly the same gender is one-fourth. Or I guess on WebAssign you can put 0.25, same thing. Okay, well, three isn't so bad. Uh, let's check out what happens if a family has four children. What's the probability? Right? If they have four children, what's the probability that um, that they have three kids that are exact same gender? Now things get a little bit more complicated in that case, but not too much more. Let's see if I can break this down for you. All right, so I worked out all the possible ways of having four children. All of them being boys, all of them being girls, or some combination of them. Um, and again, I hope you see the first two rows this time all started with boy as the oldest, and the last two rows all started with girls as being the oldest. And they are all pretty much iterations of each other. Okay, here's what we're after. Which of these, and let's underline them in red, which of these have exactly three children with the same gender? Now, I'm not on gonna, I'm not on gonna, I am not going to underline all four of those B's and all four of these G's. I'm looking for exactly three children, exactly three children. So I hope you see that this one has exactly three children of the same gender, three boys. This one here also has three boys. I'm not going to underline this one because look, it only has two boys and two girls. So we're not underlining that one, but this one here has exactly three of the same gender. Nope, nope. Yep, exactly three of the same gender exactly three, no, no, exactly three, no, exactly three, exactly three, and again, although there are three girls in this last case, I'm looking for exactly three, so I'm not going to underline that one. Now, watch this. I have a total of 16, 16 possible ways of having four children, and you would think that I'm going to take and put on top one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight over 16 and come up with one half. Well, not exactly. And I want you to think about this for a second. Remember in the first case here, 
where we had three children, the prior case to this one here, where we had three children. There we go, you can zoom back in on that. And take a look at these two cases here. They had exactly three boys in that order, boy, 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 and exactly three girls in that order, girl, girl, girl. So what I have to do is I actually have to take out, and I hope you see and I hope this makes sense to you, I actually have to take out two possibilities here. I have to rule this one out because we already counted that. Right? Once, once a family has three boys and they all are exactly the same gender, it, it doesn't matter what gender that fourth child is, we've already counted that in the previous case. So I'm also going to have to rule this guy out because look, it has the three girls. Again, I'm ruling those two out because we've already included them, here we go, we've already included them with three children, boy, 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 girl, girl, girl. See that? So that's why I'm ruling out boy, 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 girl, girl, girl. Okay, and by the way, these, this is important too. Notice that these are the first three children. Yes, I know this is also girl, girl, girl in a row, but the first three, right? This is not, this was not a case in, uh, in our first example. The first three um, are, are not all girls. Okay, so now I'm left with a total of six out of 16. And I can simplify that down. Obviously, you cut each of those in half, and you end up with um, you, know, you end up with a probability of three over eight if you want to simplify that down. Anyways, three over eight. Um, you can write that actually in just like that. Three over eight on WebAssign, or you can write it in. Let's see here, three over eight, or you can write it in as a, as its decimal equivalent of 0.375. Okay, so here's what we have then. We have probability when you have three children is 0.25. Three over eight or 0.375 if you have four kids. What about five kids? Well, I'll let you figure that out. All right, I'll let you figure out what happens if you have five kids. And again, work out all the possible ways that you can come up with five children and rule out the ones that have already shown up Right, rule out the ones that have already shown up for three children. That's having the first three being boys or the first three being girls. Also rule out all the cases that you see here where the, um, let's see here, where, the f where you have a boy, a girl, and a boy, boy. You cannot count that case again for five kids because you're counting it here for four kids. You can figure all that out. And I'm just going to leave you with this one thought. Okay, let you figure that part out right here leave you with this one thought. Is there a way to have six children that has not already been achieved within the first five children? Yeah, I don't think there really is a way at all. I mean, think of it this way. All of the possible ways of getting three children of the same gender will be taken care of in this range right here between zero and five. So having a sixth child is I mean, having five children is a guarantee that you're going to have a total of three, gen three children of the same gender. A sixth child isn't going to do anything for you. So it turns out that the probability right, of you having six children where three are the same gender is zero. They're already included in every other previous case.